Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Boat US and today we're going to look at some top boat ramp fails and how you can avoid them. Let's jump right into it and I'm jumping right back in my truck because I failed to apply the parking brake and on top of that I haven't shocked the wheels. Now look folks, you might launch for years without ever having a problem, without taking those simple safety measures. But one day, something really bad could happen and you could end up on one of those boat ramp fail videos where your truck rolls back into the water, which has got to be the worst of them all. Here's boat ramp fail number two. Did I really just back onto the ramp without putting in the drain plug? Yes, I did. This might not be as big a disaster as having your truck roll down the ramp, but it certainly is a common issue and it can lead to disaster. Now, I gotta tell you, everybody has sort of their own ways of reminding themselves to put in the drain plug. My little trick, I leave a couple of drain plugs loose in the arm pocket in, my, uh, in the door of my truck. Then that way, every time I get out of it, as I get ready to launch, I open that door up, I hear them jangling around, I hear them calling my name, and I don't forget to put in the drain plug. Now, common boat ramp fail number three, I can't demo because my rig is too small, but come out here with me. You'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. Before backing down, look for a sign indicating where the end of the ramp is. If there's no sign, it's generally the end of the finger pier. You do not want to back your trailer wheels beyond that point. Now, if your trailer does go off the end of the ramp, remember, never shift into drive and try and pull it back forward. You can wreck an axle doing that, you can bend the trailer frame, all kinds of problems, people. The first thing you need to do is get that boat off the trailer, remove all of that weight. Then it should be fairly easy to pull the wheels back up over the end of the ramp. Are there other boat ramp fails? that can happen? Well, of course there are. Lots and lots and lots of them. But these three are extremely common disasters. Hopefully, now you'll know to avoid them. Well, folks, I hope this video has been helpful for you. And don't forget to click on the button below and subscribe to the Boat US YouTube channel.